It's a 2004 um, Chrysler Crossfire. A year prior to that, I was at the um, LA Auto Show. And when I saw that car, I fell in love with it. I was like, this is an amazing car because number one, it was Chrysler, Daimler Chrysler and, and Mercedes-Benz. Um, it was built in Osnabrück, Germany. It's about 40% Mercedes-Benz R129 chassis. And when I saw the car, what I appreciated was that when it got to um, uh, the dealership floors, it, it didn't change. You know, the prototype cars, they look cool, but then as soon as they get to the to right. the dealerships, they get watered down. This wasn't changed. And what I, what I love was just the design into it and why it was called a Crossfire. Not a lot of people know why it was a Crossfire because of how the body lines um, started from the rear fender to the, the driver's side it met like this, so it formed an X. So I really geeked out of that, but at the same time, I knew that they were gonna stop making it in 2005. And I was like, I need to merge both the American side and the German side. So my car, I mean, we'll definitely at, at one point show some pictures of it, but. Um, Do you ever wonder why they only ran it for two years? Um, I'm not too because nobody wanted it. Wait, are you <laughs> kidding me? It was an amazing car, and I and I, I, I it's I, amazing I, for you because you don't drive fast. Well, it wasn't a fast car. Well, I enjoyed enjoyed the, the fact SRT of, might have uh, been fast, but you didn't have that. Well, no, it was a six speed. Um, um, um that was a. That I'm was surprised you know how to drive manual. Yeah, well, that's where it was my my. <laughs> oh my goodness, drive. you have very different appreciations for cars. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, absolutely, exactly. But no, with the, with the Crossfire though, um, what I loved about it was just merging both sides of the German and American um, side of it so parts wise you couldn't find uh, a lot of the parts for it so actually Gabe with my wheels Gabe was nice enough to have SSR do a custom uh, wheel set for that which was was great because it was like in a Japanese uh, um, catalog only cool my, thing on your car uh, no it, <laughs> exhaust exhaust system it was like a group buy with Borla and then um, but but I have to say at Cars and Coffee Calabasas Jay Leno um, came up to the car and they were, he was like, whose car is this? And they had to kind of like look for me at the show. And I was like, oh, it's mine. And he, what, it, what he loved was that it was OEM plus. He's like, I didn't know that, you know, the, these weren't stock, you know, off the, off the lot. So like the SRT bumper, my, sw my headliner was uh, Alcantara suede. So mm -hmm. he appreciated the, and you know, coming from Jay Leno, mm -hmm. that was, yeah. that, I that was, didn't want you to just move the car. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Of course not. You yeah, know. We, we should say, as we get deeper into this, I think we're going to hear more shit between these two exactly. guys. Exactly. Yeah. You can't say that. <laughs> you, yeah, we can say it. Wait, so can we, you, we, you can wait. put me in my place every time. But okay. Okay. One last right. thing about the crossfire, because I think this will give yeah. context <laughs> for Helm, is that the crossfire, if you're familiar with the car, it looked like the underside of a boat. <laughs> Because the way it was shaped and the the lines on the car, or I don't know what those things were, those little the lines, vents. Yeah. the vents or yeah. whatever, they look like the lines on, underneath the boat, like uh, for the, the water. Oh yeah, 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 right, right. And the the best part of it is, is that, you know, you have a guy with a name like Helm. <laughs> You know, he's got the helm of the ship, right. so you know we called him Captain all the time. That was, you know, that was the he was always driving boat. his boat exactly. because it was slow as a boat. Exactly. So you know, <laughs> anyways, I digress. Mm -hmm.